Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today. See, I shaved. And um, I'm here today to do a review of Professor Fard Pounder's Colon Cleaner. New, new and improved all natural hot sauce elixir of capsaicin extract extremis. Elixir of capsaicin extremis, right there. This was, uh, my dad got this for me off of uh, Amazon for the hot sauce section. It was like, I think, 13 bucks. And it's in, like, you see a like, whiskey flask. It's similar to, uh, like, the old snake oil things they have in, like, the Westerns or they just sell in the 1800s. Pretty cool. It has it has a little story on the side. It says, uh, and people say our new and improved all-natural colon cleaning hot sauce works better than the original formula. They say that it cures the common cold and even the flu. One old man said that after he ate some with his eggs, he remembered his wife's name. Others say it just makes them feel good all over. We don't know if these claims are true, but we do know that it is absolutely delicious. It's all natural with no preservatives and made with pride right here in the USA. And it says, remember, everybody knows somebody that needs a bottle of colon cleaner. Yeah, like Moms Against the WWE on Twitter. <laughs> I'm a handsome bastard. I don't care what they say. Anyways, let's give this a shot. This is a red wine and Dijon. This is a mustard-based hot sauce made with uh, scotch bonnet peppers, habanero pepper, and habanero peppers along with, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Let's give it a shot. Give it a, give it a smell first. Wow. It smells like Heinz 57. Deep brown color. Okay, I'm going to just take a swig of it this time. I'm going to shake it up some first. There we go. It's good enough. It's got bite to it. <coughs> that smells like Heinz Fit. It has a taste somewhat like Heinz Fit 7, but boy, it's got a bite. Far worse than Heinz Fit 7, you taste the habanero and scotch bonds right away. It, it heats you up, lights you up. Wow. There is heat. There's heat built up right on the back of my tongue. It's a good heat. It's a good flavor. Um, these would go perfectly on eggs or anything you like putting hot sauce on these go perfect with. This is really good stuff. I like it. It has a good heat. It doesn't kill you, but it's got an awesome heat. So I'd have to give Professor Fart Pounders Colon Cleaner probably a 9 out of 10 for flavor and heat. A delicious flavor like Heinz 57, but with a ton of spice that like really hits you right in the tongue. Really good stuff. I really like it a lot. Wow. And I still feel the heat. Definitely keep me awake. You know I'm not tired at all. I also wanted to do a video review. Uh, I was asking on my review of, uh, on the video for Three Days to Kill, the movie called Sledgehammer that came out, shot on video. And I was thinking of shot on videos, uh, on video movies from the 80s. And he had a couple. He said he had Boarding House on there, but he had to take it down. Boarding House was awesome. But there was a movie, I couldn't remember the name of it. I kept wanting to say it's violence on video, but there was a movie called Video Violence. It made in 87, which I did a uh, shot on video, which is completely different. And it was from Continental. And who, uh, I want to give a shout out to the person who let me know what it was. Because I asked a question to anyone who knew what it was. Let me see. Double check his name. Lando Stark. Big shout out to Lando Stark for telling me it's called Tear on Tape is the video. And he gave me a link to it. And it was uploaded just a little while ago, a couple weeks ago. And I'm surprised they hadn't gotten more views. And it's a hard to find movie. It's from Continental Video, who's no longer around. They actually went. They actually released some like major movies. They even released. Uh, they released like something special, which I hated. But they released uh, Witchboard, the very first Witchboard movie, and they got a little bit bigger because they were like smaller and stuff. And it was also a conjunction between Continental Video and Comet Video. They're one and the same. And basically, there's no spoilers in this movie review. 
because it basically uh, it's like uh, also it's the video for that's on uh, a really cool YouTube uh, video uh, YouTube channel called the burial ground I'll give a shot to burial ground also and the one thing about that is uh, it's similar to like some other companies have like compilation they make a movie out of the movies they already have like wizard video did like two of them at least to, to my knowledge they did uh sex and violence or the best of sex and violence uh, charles band who owned wizard video uh then they had like john carradine hosted and they showed all the tra original trailers to the movies that they had on continental video i mean on wizard video and then they did uh zombie thon which is like um Kind of like a silent movie with a bunch of zombies. And then they show like clips from their zombie movies throughout, like an hour and a half long. Even though they only have a couple of really good zombie movies, the other ones are you know, fuddy duddy ones. Well, anyways, this one is called Terror on Tape. Like I said, I thought it was called Violence on Video. Could I have seen it? I rented it a long time ago. And I don't know if it's 86 or 85 or 86 uh, from Home Video Exchange in Edinburgh. And they had a whole bunch of horror films. And it was so cool. I see it. And what happened is Cameron Mitchell is Cameron Mitchell starts and he's running a video store. This is all shot in video. And there's three customers that come in throughout the movie. And then he shows different clips from the movie, from the different movies that they have on Continental Video. Like this nerdy guy comes in, he shows clips. And there are movies like Kathy's Curse, uh, Slayer. They only show a couple of Herschel Gordon Lewis films. They're horror and science fiction. They only show a couple. They didn't show Wizard of Gore, which surprised me. They didn't show any clips from that. They show clips from, uh, and they don't show grip, uh, clips from Gruesome Twosome, which really surprised me, too. And then they showed, uh, they showed a couple of science fiction ones. Then they showed uh, Kidnapping of the President, which is an action film, which really surprised me. And then, well, first of all, there's a scary cat that comes in there, and he gets all scared, and he leaves. And then a construction worker, a macho construction worker, comes in. Wants to see some cool movies. And then a nymphomaniac played by the very sexy Michelle Bauer comes in and asks to be scared because she can never get to the point of being scared, you know. And it's very entertaining. And they show lots of really cool clips of movies, including City of the Walking Dead, uh, Return of the Aliens, Deadly Spawn. Like I said, the Hirsch Gorn Lewis movies are Blood Feast, uh, 2000 Maniacs, and Color Me Blood Red, but no gruesome twos from Wizard of Gore. They said they show clips from Ruby, I didn't see any clips from Ruby on there. And they said Suicide Squad, which became uh, Frozen Scream, I think, or something like that. But there wasn't, there was no Suicide Squad on there. And Frozen Scream was the only movie that they showed in there that sucked. I saw Frozen Scream a long time ago. It was terrible. But I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Thank you very much, Lando Stark and Burial Ground, for finally uploading this very hard to find video. Because Continental Video went away and. I can't remember, 89, 88, 89. Like most companies went away. Vestron Video went away in like 91. Uh, Media Home Entertainment that Charles Band owned went away in 91. Wizard Video went away in, I don't know, 89, 91, something like that. And it, it was a very entertaining movie. So I wanted to give that a, a 10 out of 10 for Tear on Tape. I, I really enjoyed watching it. My dad hated it, but I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a lot of bloody, good, bloody fun. Put some nudity thrown in. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to throw out there. Uh, I've seen new ads on True TV saying that the new True TV, we have made way more fun. They sh they're they just showing the same stuff. I don't know why it's saying way more fun now. Because the guys say, True TV, way more fun. I'm like, same bullshit. You know? Well, anyways. They have my reviews for Professor Fard Pounder's Cohen Cleaning Hot Sauce. Pulling clean, cleaner hot sauce and tear on tape. The awesome lost horror film from, he said 83, but it looks like the trademark is 85. I looked on the end on it. Oh, well. So until next time, hey, please take care of my legion.